Hi, welcome to the Java programming tutorial. And um, what I've done is I've took away the radio buttons and the checkboxes, and the rest that was on the west region. So there's nothing here at all. So, but what I'm going to do is we're going to go into like text area, text field, and yeah, that's what we're going to do. And so if you look at this here. Take this still and make this small. This here is not a text area, um, that's like a um, G edit pane because you can format the different characters, um, like so. The text area is just plain text, though you can, the, you can do more than just plain text, but you can't do the formatting. Um, we'll do that in the, the, the G edit pane. So um, so we can do this and we can have the numbers down the side and I'll show you how to do that. Um, so the first thing we'll do is I'll close this. I've still got the toolbar. Still got the toolbar. Oops. Yeah, I've, I've took away, I've actually took away the regions. So that's why it was just going that way. Right, so what I'm going to do is take this away. And I'm going to add up here. Um, let's put it in here. Public static J text area and we'll call it area. And we'll have another one called public. Static um, it's not going to be G text area, but it's going to be um, going to be called plain numbers. Okay, so that's two text areas we've we've done. Now what we need to do is we need to initialize them inside main. So the first one's called area equals new um, J text area and it's a constructor so we've got the brackets. Now there's things you can do with the constructor, you can set how many rows and how many columns it's going to have. Now what you have is text field and text areas and both are the same. The difference is a text field is just one line of text. And the text area can be multiple lines of text, and both inherit um, the same class. It's a, the the I think it's called the Java Text um, Component class. I'm not too sure, but both inherit the same one, so both do the same. I've got access to the same methods, and so so that's the area one. The next one we're going to do is the line numbers. So this is line numbers. And so that's two text areas. So what we're going to do is go down to panel and remember panel two. This is going to be panel two here. That's the north region of panel two, I'm sure. And we've got a west and we've got a centre. So the main one's going to be in the centre and the, the, the the number one's going to be in the west region and I'll show you it's so what we've got here is J panel J panel 2 J panel 2 border rail J panel 1 border rail north centre J panel 2 centre of, of pan border rail and so what we're going to do here is we're going to go pan 2 we'll yeah, pan two dot add um, and we're going to add to the center area and border rail dot and we're going to add that to the center and semicolon. And then we're going to add to the west region. We're going to add and west 
list it should be all capitals or all small and this is the numbers okay. so that's us added to I'll save it and turn the program see how it appears okay you're just seeing the center and we can type things in and to show it's there so that's the center one so it's plain text um, it's just a standard text editor nothing fancy about it um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go back up to line numbers and and what we're going to do here is we're going to go line numbers wait a minute I'll just what we're going to do is just we're going to put in the rows and columns and so what we're going to do we're going to do let's say 20 it's one one column and 20 rows so that's what we're putting in and we're going to change the background color so you can see it dot the spelling number slide and um, set background color and it's a um, color dot and we'll go for yellow just to make it stand out from the white okay and so if we save the program run the program now that's way too big okay so obviously I've got it the wrong way around um, that's 20 across here and so this should be 1 and this should be 20 save so this will be rows and this will be columns right and that's what I want there because what I want to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 right and so this is the line number so in the text editor you have the line numbers and so you can do in Java import Java x dot swing dot asterisk semicolon and then you can go public class um, new one and, and you see that you can actually start doing text editors and um, you would use a, a J tech edit frame and um, for a text editor so you could highlight keywords and so that you could like um, have them bold and all the rest of it but you can see that you're beginning to do things with the application and so and then it would be public um, new one constructor and inside here inside here would would be the code for the constructor and so you can see we're beginning to do things but we're not actually doing anything um, and so these can be all the line numbers so that you know that you go to line number eight for a certain piece of code where it's an error and you can also have another edit pane here and this other edit pane can be like to display a, an error symbol so that if you get an error with number six line number six next it will be like a wee error symbol and it will appear as if it's all the same line and so that you could make the center very small and you could make the east region very big to the to the other end of the program and so so that's that's a, a JTEX um, a JTEX area now um, what I will say is that if you want to do anything with, with a JTEX area what you're seeing there is a graphical user interface part of it but it's not a document to change anything and um, what you use is an object in Java called document now document is where you actually you actually save 
you'll save the document, you'll change the document, you'll you'll know do all different things with the document. And so and you also have acts and listeners. And the acts and listeners is the ones we've been using. But there's other ones as well. So if it was a, a normal text field and you want to you just want to enter the the data when you we press the enter button, then you would have just the action listener. And so we'll we'll show you that as well in the next tutorials. And so I don't want us to be too long, so that's the J um, text area. And you can see that we can use it in all different ways. And so we can have like images appearing. We wouldn't use a JTEX idea for an, a Java IDE. What we would use it for is what we would use is a J edit pane, and we're going to go into that as well. So again, thank you for your time. I hope that's been of some use.